Magazine. Hi, this is Chris Foster, Senior Editor of Traffic Magazine. We're here today to take a look at a brand new wireless electronic shifting system that adapts to your existing mechanical rear derailleur. So before I bring that out, I want to talk a little bit about why I chose this. Um, I wasn't planning on necessarily reviewing this. In fact, it kind of came about as an accident. This whole rear um, derailleur shifter adapter system um, is intended for mountain bikes. Okay, it's, that's what it's made for, it's primary use. Um, the idea is that it doesn't exactly integrate perfectly into a road system because um, road systems, you know, obviously have shifters on the side built into their brake levers. Um, whereas mountain bikes, you can get a little more modular kind of with your shifting and your, um, your braking system. Um, but it has kind of an interesting application for triathlon um, that I'll get into once I bring it out. So let's take a look. So this is the Archer D1X. Um, rear electronic shifting system. So this is the instruction manual. We'll get to this in a second. Um, very small, which is interesting. Um, you've got a battery charger, okay. You've got the batteries themselves. You've got some mounting brackets. Um, you've got the shift cable, which we'll talk about a little bit. Um, and then you've got the actual shifter pod itself and I think like a backup battery or something. Oh, the shifter battery. Okay, and some mounting stuff. So let's put this away. Clear some of this other stuff that's not really very interesting off. Batteries, the charger, manual. We'll leave that here for now. All right, so um, first thing I want to look at. Clearly a mountain biking company. Look, it's wrapped in brown paper. Um, all right, so conceptually, the idea behind this system is you're going to put this on your rear chainstay. Okay. The only possible limiter you have is if your chainstay shape doesn't accommodate this box in a practical way. So it's got a bracket that'll um, kind of attach it onto it, um, but it needs to be right. So you're, it'll go here. Okay. And your rear derailleur will be here. The idea is you, you run this cable into the actual box. All right. It runs out the box and into your rear derailleur and it does the shifting from this box transmitting the signal, it's got a battery in it, from this um, back to the shifter and so forth. Okay, so the idea here is you can use any rear derailleur, doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter what um, make, how many speeds, okay? Kind of, it has like a smart shifting system um, that knows, you know, the distance of each shift, okay? So it does a lot of the kind of the legwork for you, um, which is interesting, right? Now, the idea behind this is, Obviously, it's rear derailleur only. They don't have a front derailleur system. Um, but the idea here is this is, you know, in that kind of four to five hundred dollar range, depending on what package you get, three to five hundred dollars. Um, but if you were to get a, uh, an electronic shifting system, even a wired one, you're going to be looking at, you know, probably a thousand dollars at least just to get started on that system. Okay, wireless is going to be much more than that, right? So this is less than half the price basically, and it works with your existing setup, right? So you're not doing a super, super crazy change, complete rebuild, right? You don't have to get new brakes, you don't have to get all that extra new stuff that you, you don't have to get hardly anything new except for this pod, um, and then the shifter that we'll look at right now. So the shifter unit itself is kind of the question mark, all right? And I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna install this and we're gonna see how this really works, but this is just kind of an idea I had. Um, so the idea here is this is for mountain bikes, okay? So you would mount this on your bar and you'd have it where your thumbs go to shift left and right, all right? My thinking is we can mount this on an arrow bar, right? Probably the right one and do the same thing, right? Shift an arrow. It's wireless. You don't have to run wires anywhere, right? So that doesn't matter. It's just about getting the mounting bracket right, okay? And it's going to depend a little bit on how your arrow bars look, you know, what shape they are, how, where you feel comfortable shifting them. Um, maybe finding a way to get them on the end of the arrow bar so it kind of becomes an extension of that. But that's something I'm kind of going to play with a little bit because like I said, this wasn't something I intended on reviewing, um, but it just kind of, kind of sparked my interest. Um, so anyway, the only other things you really need to know about this is um, the instruction manual is small, right? The setup, and I haven't gone through it yet, but something tells me this is going to take a little bit more work than three pages says because, you know, with different shifters and things like that, it's probably going to be a little bit of uh, different setup. So I'm really interested to know how actually easy this setup is because in my mind, it doesn't feel like it's going to be super easy, um, but it's got a Bluetooth app that's going to walk you through the startup. 
Um, you do all of your adjustments, everything. I mean, there's only a few buttons on this um, through the Bluetooth app yourself with a, uh, with a smartphone. So we'll see how that goes. It could be a complete wash and I might just be like, nope, this doesn't work. But um, triathletes are tinkerers and you know, we always wanna try new things. So um, I thought this could be a really cool t solution to a very expensive problem. So that's all for us today. I'm Chris Foster and we'll see you next time.